Now, before we even get into recording, of course you want to hear your signal. And the way you do that is with your monitor button, which is right here. So what you would do is plan your instrument or have the sound play as you click this. And all of a sudden, you'll see the level. Of course, it's my voice in this case. So once again, in order to actually hear the sound, and this does not set it up for recording, it's just to make it audible. You click here on monitor. Once you see the levels, you know you actually have an input. Okay, in case you're a little confused at this point, let's simplify things a little bit. If you don't see the screen that we're looking at right now in the video, simply go up and press F3 at the top of your keyboard, your computer keyboard, F3. Now watch what happens on my screen here. Disappears, comes back. You want to remember F3. It's going to be one of your best friends here in switching through screens. Now, F2 will bring your controller up. See how that works? F3, F2. That's not so hard now, is it? Now, let's talk about levels a bit. What you want to do is set your levels at your input source outside of this program. So, for instance, if right now you're using a microphone preamp, that's where you'll set your input volume. If it's a guitar amp, whatever preamp you're using that's going directly into your sound card will be how you set up your input volume. We're going to use these controllers here, these faders, just to set the monitoring level that we hear in the room or headphones. So again, if you're using a keyboard, for instance, and you're going line level in to your sound card, you're going to set the volume control on your keyboard. So it's going to be your external source that sets the volume for your input. Now, of course, the next question would be, what's a good level to record at? Now, most input preamps, for instance, if you've got a microphone preamp, most input preamps have meters on them just like you're seeing here. Now, this is this confuses some people when they initially start recording because they're told get the hottest signal possible. And yes, that's true. You want to get a good signal. But unlike analog, most of us are recording digital these days. And if your input is too hot with digital, you'll get a very nasty distortion. You don't want that during the peaks that will happen. And a note about various meters that are used these days is they're not totally accurate in the sense of the median level of the volume. So for instance, you can see the level we're using here. In actuality, peaks would probably be a little higher than what we're seeing here. It's often best to set your levels on your input device because you don't want to overdrive that. Now, most input devices do have some sort of notification of whether you're peaking out. You also want to totally trust your ears as much as you trust your monitor or your, your meter. So if you're not familiar with recording, my suggestion is mess with it for a minute at this point, turn up and down, your input control, listen to it, watch the meters, and get a little accustomed to how they respond to peaks and valleys and different levels of dynamics.